What's going on YouTube? My name is Corey, AKA Soul Focus, here bringing you another video today. Is anybody out there tired as much as I am of this quarantine time? I'm ready for us collectively as a country to beat this virus just so that we can go back to our normal lives and overcome this pandemic because it's going to be a staple in US history. Well, actually world history, I should say. One thing that I have noticed during this pandemic is that sneaker sales have plummeted. And of course, it's just consumers not wanting to spend money towards something that they want rather than something that they need. A lot of the prices on the third party reseller websites, the prices of the sneaker have actually gone down a significant amount. I'm talking a lot of sneakers you would see over retail are actually now under retail. Why is it not focused? Speaking of sneakers under retail, I picked these up on StockX's website just about two weeks ago. Now, full disclaimer here, these sneakers are going to be one of the ugliest sneakers that I've ever previewed on this channel. Now, these are the non-reflective pair. Focus on me. Why are you focusing on that? The Adidas Yeezy 380 in the mist colorway. I am glad that Adidas and Kanye are coming out with different iterations of the Yeezy. But some of these are just a little bit too crazy for my taste. Maybe I'm just being a little bit too harsh on this shoe. Now, since this sneaker is the non-reflective, it will not have the 3M woven into the prime knit. The offering of this Adidas Yeezy Boost 380 features a camouflage-like design and warm hues of olives and tans covering the prime knit constructed upper. The first colorway to drop in the DSGZ 380 line was the alien colorway. I do think that those were highly slept on. I slept on them as well, so I decided, hey, might as well try and get the miss. But even if it isn't the design, the colors just don't really pop. A lot of people just aren't fans of, which makes this kind of a non-desirable sneaker. And I really don't blame them. This sneaker also has tan laces atop a chunky boost midsole and gum rubber outsole that completes the entire design. But I think it's the warm like hues of the olives and the tans and the colors that are kind of combined combined together. I don't know if you would consider this addition a blessing to us from Adidas and Kanye himself, but at least they look closely to redirecting their attention towards newer designs, different colorways, and just an overall different aesthetic. Now, if any of you guys out there have purchase an Adidas Yeezy sneaker, whether it be the 700s, 350, V1, V2, whatever, you'll know that the sizes kind of change. And I think it is because it is more of a unisex sneaker. It's not necessarily having a men's sneaker and a woman's sneaker. But I would be lying to say that every Adidas Yeezy is considered true to size because I feel like they change it up after every single drop. As far as these, I do feel like that they do fit true to size. I also like that they add this milky cage covers the boost itself, but it is a lighter sneaker, the outsole has different patterns than what you're used to. I just feel like that the colors could have been different. And I can't say it's just this sneaker because there have been a lot of Adidas Yeezys that I've just not been a fan of the colorway. The colors just kind of make me go, eh. But I would say probably one of the reasons that I'm not a fan of the shoe other than the colorway is that it has a sock liner here on the upper. I'm just not a fan of the sock liner sneaker. I'm just more for the plain and simple look. Retail price on these sneakers were $230. I had gotten them on StockX for only $205. That just goes to show that you can still get a lot of deals on third-party reseller websites. You just got to look for them. That is all I got for you guys today. Leave a like on this video if you like content like this and make sure to comment and subscribe to my channel and help me grow this channel. I really appreciate it. Also, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the sneaker. Were you able to cop for a retail? Did you happen to get it under retail like I did? Or did you happen to pay a hefty price over retail? Everybody stay safe during this quarantine time and make Make sure to love life, love God, and love each other. God bless to everyone out there. I hope you all stay safe. Peace.